showed you a little bit earlier. I'm going to show you how to do that look from start to finish. So here I am with a completely bare face. I'm going to add all my primers, go in with my eyes, then finish up my base of my face as well. I'll show you every single product that I do use. I'll explain to you how I use it, why I use it, and I hope you enjoy. So if you do see that my face lights up here, it's because I'm using this simple human mirror. It mimics the light of what would be outside. So if you do see my face light up, that is why. So I'm going to prime my face with, this is the Hangover RX um, primer. It's by Too Faced. It is almost empty, but it's a hydrating primer. So I'm going to prime my face with this first so that while I am putting my eye makeup on, it is soaking into the skin. And I am going to spray a little bit of this as well. So this, so this is the Clinique Moisture Surge Spray. It's just like acts as a moisturizer in a spray. So my face is super dry recently. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of this just to hydrate my face before I do start my foundation. Okay, so next I'm going to prime my eyes. So with me, primer is really important. I do find that it makes a huge difference. So if you do not use a primer, it's definitely time to invest in something like that just because it makes a difference on your eyes as well as your face in the length that your makeup stays on as well as it does not crease. So the one I'm going to use here, this is the Stay Don't Stray by Benefit Cosmetics. It will help cancel out any blue veins or any darkness you have around your eyes as well. So you can use it on top of the lids or you can use it under the eye before concealer. So I just put a little bit. And then I blend it in with my ring finger as well. Just because it's the most delicate finger on your hand, so it's going to be the most gentle around that, that thin skin around the eye. Okay, so my base is on. It's just a neutral um, eye primer. Next, I'm going to go on with this. is the Stila palette. This one is discontinued, but they have came out with one that's super, super similar to it, just in a different format. So these are all my favorite shades. I really like this one. So I'm going to go on with a neutral shade, just any white base, kind of just to set um, that primer. Okay, so that base is all on my eye there. It's just a neutral color, just so that that primer um, gets set as well as it um, neutralizes any colors out. So I am going to go in with an antique rosy color here. So this is the color that I'm going to use in my transition before I go on with the deep burgundies. So I'm going to put a little bit on a MAC 217 and blend it in my crease. Adding a little bit more of that color. Any transition color would work, so any burnt oranges, light browns. But with me here, I'm just using like a rosy tone, just so it stays within that pinky burgundy family. Add a little bit more. Okay, so I am done with that palette there. That's all I needed it for. So I did recently get these eyeshadows. So these are the Makeup Forever eyeshadows. Um, they are purpley colors. I don't know if you can see there. These are the colors I am going to use today. I will list the colors down below just because they are um, a little bit different. They're all just a long number and also I can't get them under the package here. So I will list these down below. So I am going to go first in with this matte purple color. I'm going to take that same brush, the MAC 217, take a little bit of that matte color, tap off the excess, and go into the crease. 
So I am going for a really bold look today. I'm going for a full uh, full burgundy eye. So I'm going to go, it has a little bit of purples, a little bit of burgundy. So it's going to be a full eye. So again, I'm putting that purple, that matte purple into the crease and blending it out with the Smashbox crease blending brush. So these shadows are phenomenal. They're the Makeup Forever single shadows, so you can do just buy singles, you can buy doubles, you can buy duplicates, you can buy however many you want, but they do come in the little um, containers here. They blend out like a dream. So two of them were $40, so two for $39, or each of them are $30 each. So I am just blending that color out there. Just so it's a blended out crease. I'm gonna take that same color, same brush, the MAC 217, and put that in this side of the crease as well. So I do open my eye and look at it, look at where I'm placing that color, just to make sure when I do have my eye open, I can fully see that color. So again, still blending out with that crease blending brush by Smashbox. Going back in and adding a little bit more color, just because in one eye it's a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna add a little bit more in the crease here. I'm gonna blend it out anyway, so no harsh lines. I'm gonna blend that out. If you end up finding that you're putting too much purple, you can always take that transition color or a neutral base color and put that on a blending brush uh, and blend, blend that out to make it a little bit lighter of a shade. I'm gonna take this brush here, it's just a flat, flat tip brush, um, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that sparkly shade, so it's a lighter purpley shade. It's a little bit sparkly. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, tap off the excess. I'm gonna put it in the inner corners. So it's not gonna be as dark of a shade that's on the outer corners, but it's gonna really darken up that eye. The whole eye is gonna be dark, not just the outer, outer edges like a smoky eye. This is the full eye. So because it's a little bit more of a shimmy, sh shimmery shade, I am just going to put that in the center. The center and the inner corner. I'm taking that same brush, that same color, and putting it, putting it in the inner, co inner corner of this eye, where all that blank space is, where that darker color is not. So with this, it's super important to do your foundation after you do your eyes. Just because I'm using such a pigmented color, I would never want all of this color payoff to fall into my foundation. So if you see any harsh lines, go in with this crease blending brush or whatever brush you have already and blend those out. So it's a clean brush. I normally don't do purples, but I thought I would do a little bit of a change here. So I'm gonna go in with a pencil tip brush. This is just one from my brush set. Again, I talked about it in my 10 top favorite brushes. Taking a little bit more of that matte purple color and adding it back into the crease to make a really deep definition. Doing it on the other side as well. And then I'm gonna go in with a brush and blend that all out. So I never want to leave any of those harsh lines. So this is the MAC 217 brush, and I'm blending that all out. Ah. 
just to the middle of the eye. I'm not going all the way in. I'm just going to the center. So the outskirts is more of that matte purple and the inside is a little bit lighter of that shade. I still want darkness and definition, but I don't want any lines where you can see there's a difference between the two colors. So I'm bringing it almost up to my eyebrow bone, just because I want to connect my eye, my eyebrows with my eyeshadow, adding a shimmery shade to the highlight of the brow. So I want it all to blend together and all flows. Okay, so if you feel that you've lost a little bit of that shimmer in the inner corner, go back in again with that same color. I'm going back in with that same shimmery shade. I may add a little bit of a Fix Plus. So something like this for MAC, just to add a little bit more of that shine. Same on this eye, adding a little bit more in the inner corners. Just because when I am blending away, it does blend away a little bit of that product. So if I want to pack it back in again and have that depth of color, I'm going to do so. So that's about it for those shadows until I am going to smoke out the bottom lash line. So again, I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This one here is the my brush set. Take that and blend out any unwanted color. Okay, so I now have that fully blended out. It does look a little bit smoky right now, but as I do add the eyeliner and the rest of the face, it will all come together. Right now I look a little bit like a raccoon, but it will all come together. Next, I'm gonna go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pencil. I am in the color Taupe for being so blonde. I know there's a blonde color as well, but the blonde color is quite yellow, so I go with something more of a taupey shade. I did go get my eyebrows threaded today for the very first time. I'm not sure how I feel about it quite yet. I love the shape of them, but that hurt. But they look good. No excess little, little baby hairs left. So I'm going to do little tiny ticks. Again, just to mimic where I should have hairs or to darken up the hairs that I do have. I have mentioned before that I do like quite a square brow, so that is me personally. You can go in and you can change your brow shape however you want or go with the normal shape that you do have on your brow, but I do like making mine a little bit more square. I'm going to go through, blend it out with the spoolie, just to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm blending through that color.
any whenever you have two of anything they are they can be a little bit different so this brow is a lot different than the one on the left hand side so I do have to work a little bit more with this one opposed to the other one um, and I know everyone has that problem Okay, so those are my brows. Those are my brows. I am going to add the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Clear Brow Gel just to set that area. So like I did mention, I am going to add a little bit of a highlight to my brow. I'm going to add it so it blends that bottom eyeshadow with the brow eyeshadow. So mine's really beat up and broken here, but I am using the Stila Kitten eyeshadow, the single eyeshadow, just to take that and put that in the high points of my brows. It also adds as like a transition color so that it goes from those purples to the high points. Taking that, doing it on the other side. You can kind of use any brush for this, any brush that can kind of get in there and be detailed. This one's just a flat, a flat brush here. I, you can use this for getting under your brows. You can use this for smudging your under eye, um, your under eye eyeshadow. But this is just the one I'm using today for my brows. So you can kind of see there, the two colors are more blended together. So I'm going to take another crease brush and make sure there's no harsh edges. Okay, so after I've done that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my foundation. So we have previously put on my primer, as you know, so I'm going to go in with that foundation right now. So I am using the Revlon um, 150 Buff. I have tried so many foundations and this seems to be the only one that works for me properly. So I am going to use this one today with a damp beauty blender. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. And 150 Buff is the perfect color for me. But if it was not, I would mix the colors on the back of my hand as well. Just tapping that in. I have changed my face wash. I'm not going to tell you guys which one it is yet. Just um, because I'm not too sure how I feel about it. But it is breaking me out a little bit. So... That is why I have a few blemishes and areas, just because I'm switching things up a little bit. So again, I'm not doing right under my eyes, just because I'm going to go in with a concealer just to cover any dark circles and areas that need a little bit extra coverage. Next I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I am using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I am in the color Light Warm. Um, I have mentioned this before, but this is one of my favorite concealers. Just because you don't need much to, to cover those areas, but it is super hydrating. So I am going to take the Pink Beauty Blender back in and seal those areas. I would use the Mini Green Beauty Blenders, but my cats thought they were toys and they ate them. So today I'm just going to use this until I get myself a few more of those Mini Green ones. This is where you can sharpen up the edges of your eyeshadow. Just up the side there. Okay, do you see how that concealer made such a huge difference? So I went from raccoon eyes to actually noticing that this is eyeshadow, not just dark circles around my eyes. It, it looks like eyeshadow now. 
So now I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Eye Brightening um, Under Eye Powder. Take a little brush, you can use anything, and just set that area. You may notice that I do use a lot of my brush set um, makeup brushes, but it is because my skin reacts to so many brushes. So being able to find a set of brushes that does not make me react, but still works on my skin and works well is a rare find. So normally expensive brushes are something that's going to make my skin react and cheap brushes will work for me. So the fact that this um, brush set is super affordable and it works really, really well is a bonus. So I'm going to um, go in with the NARS, the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. So this does come in a loose powder, but I do have it in the compact. So I'm going to take the Cover Effects Powder Brush, take a little bit of that and just put it, dab it all over my face. So after powdering my face, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Palette. And I'm also going to use the Kat Von D brush. So it is a brush that's supposed to go with the contour palette, but it is sold separately. So I'm going to go in with these two shades here. I'm going to go in with the two lighter shades towards the end, the one in the middle and the lighter one on the end. So I'm going to take the slanted side of the brush, I'm going to go in and add it, add it from my ear lobe to my towards my lip area take a little bit more and add it to this side so ideally I'm gonna make an E this is gonna help so it is only the contour is where the shades would hit so then you would put a highlight where the Sun would hit so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blend all that contour out with the still the same slanted side you can go in with a bigger powder brush and blend this out as well but if I don't want a harsh contour, I'm going to definitely blend that out. I want it more to look like a shadow than I do a contour. Put a little bit more above here. Do a little bit on my chin. Okay, so I will go back with the highlight after I'm finished with the bron my bronzer and my blush. This is the Cover FX bronzer called Bronze. Top off the excess. Put a little bit on my cheekbones. I'm not going to go too crazy just because I have already contoured. So I don't want to add any more darkness to my face than I need to. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. So the blush that I am going to use today is called Almerica. So again, this is the one from last year, but it does match my eyeshadow quite well. So I did want to use it. You can get it online though as well. So you can get it on... Um, on Amazon if you did really really want it so tap tap off the excess because it is very pigmented go in and just put it on the apples on my cheeks remember blush is something that does go quite quickly just because you are touching your face all the time eating moving talking that kind of thing so blush is something that does go quite quickly Next, I'm gonna go on with the Bobbi Brown Highlighter. So this is similar to the one that came out this year. This one was limited edition last year, but they do have one this year that's limited edition as well, which is really, really nice. So I'm gonna put it on the high points of my cheeks. On both sides. I am using the Sigma F35 brush. So this is the highlighting brush. So I'm going to put a little bit above my eyebrows as well. And I make a C. So you make an E with your contour and a C with your highlight. Put a little bit on my cupid's bow just to add a little bit more of a plump look when I do end up adding um, my lipstick. So now I go in with a highlight shade. So I use the opposite end of the Kat Von D brush. And I'm going to take these two shades here this one and this one so lyric and levitation I'll take those two shades tap off the excess go in and carve out that contour so you can use this shade for under your eyes as well to set your under eye powder but I do use it to carve out my contour so see the difference so when I add it here gets rid of any harsh lines and adds one thin line carving out that contour. I'm going to 
go back in with those eyeshadows and I'm gonna smoke out my bottom lash line with these eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take a pencil tip brush, take a little bit of that darker matte, matte um, purple, and put it right underneath my lash line on the bottom lashes. Take a little bit more of that matte purple. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with that same brush. Take a little bit of that sparkly lighter purple shade and put it in the inner corner. So I'm going to go through and smoke that out. Just blend it all the way so there's no line showing the difference between the two colors. Okay, so I'm going to take a tiny little pencil brush again. So a tiny little brush. I'm going to take a little bit more of that kitten that I highlighted my eyebrow bone with and I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. Drag it down a little bit so it cancels out a little bit of that purple but it's going to really help brighten that area. Okay, so make sure it blends well with the top and it isn't too bold. A little bit of mascara and put it on my bottom lash line. Again, taking the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and putting it on the lash line. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner. So I am going to do a cat eye just because this is a really dramatic look. So I am going to use the Stila waterproof um, eyeliner pen. I am going to speed through this just because you guys have seen this a couple times now. So let me just go ahead and get started here. Go in and make a tick where I would like that eyeliner to meet and have that cat eye. Next I'm just going to finish off, off with my lips so I'm going to do a little bit more of a neutral lip just because my eyes are so bold. I'm going to go in with the Milani lip liner in nude. This one is from Superstore. I did not know did Milani. Not know Milani was in Canada until my lovely friend told me that it is sold at Superstore. So if you are a Canadian, go to Superstore and grab Milani. I do find that Milani lip liners are even creamier than MAC lip liners, which is a bonus because they're like half the price. I think they're like $4 or something and they're super nice. So I'm going to go in with MAC lipstick. This one's called Modesty. This one is my favorite for a neutral shade. To top it off, I'm going to finish it with a buxom lip gloss. This one is in Sandy, so I'm going to finish it off with this. The last step here is fix 
plus spray. So I'm going to spray my face with this. It kind of sets my makeup as well as adds a dewy glow to my skin. So there is the final look. Full face, start to finish. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.